evening, everyone. This is Cricket Laugh for Wednesday, Monday, January 8th, 2024. And we are at the Raw Food Potluck. And we have two, four, six, eight, ten people here tonight. So awesome. And one person online. And tonight our speaker is going to be Linda Gardner over here to my right. And she has been doing... Um, reflexology for mm -mm, years, 18 years, and she is amazing. I always fall asleep when I, <laughs> yes, I do, <laughs> when I'm in her office and I wake up and she's all done and I'm like, oh, I'm doing so good. <laughs> I had a nice nap and That's good awesome. reflexology. So um, I'm going to let her take it away. I'm going to um, move the the computer a little bit closer here and then um she can point to her sign and how does that look oh. for oh beautiful that look on the screen it, look, it looks good thank you okay. cricket okay yep yeah. um actually we might do um let's do um oh you just move the speaker <laughs> view here okay. and then she'll be full screen so yes exactly okay and then you can mute yourself and We'll yep. Good to go. Muting. Go ahead and start talking, Linda. Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, the food was wonderful. Thank you. Can you hear her? Absolutely wonderful. Well, yeah, but uh, you're not in speaker view. Yes, I, I am. I still see myself. I know, but you. Oh, I, mean, yeah, I had to. You have to change it on your end, too. You can you can view different than I can view. So okay, I, I didn't know, know that. Why talking, it doesn't switch over to right because I was expecting to go right there. into speaker view for you. Go. Okay, good. Would have wore a different top if I'd known I was going to be on TV. But oh well. <laughs> okay, uh, Kay McPike is with me also. She too is a reflexologist. And we usually do these presentations in tandem so that we can actually give demonstrations um, after the presentation. So I'm going to make the presentation relatively short so we can do your hands, at least one hand uh, from each person. And so we can get to the game. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Reflexology is a science. It's based on the principle that there are reflexes in your hands and in your feet that are relative to every gland, organ, and part of your body. So in lay terms, what that means is that we can affect your entire body by working on your hands or your feet. Many people get hands and feet done because when you get your hands done, <laughs> then it affects your upper body a lot sooner. Mm -hmm. So, but they both affect your entire body. Um, types of reflexology are, uh, again, hands, feet, and ears. Ooh. Kay and I have not learned the ear reflexology yet, but we do do, uh, we do the hands and feet. So the purpose of reflexology is for relaxation, of uh, thus uh, crickets going to sleep, which is actually a compliment to us because then we know that you're comfortable and you are relaxed. And for some people, that's the only relaxation they have within a week or every other week. So um, they come for that. I have a client that uh, religiously goes to sleep every single session, wow. every session. And she's extremely busy and her uh, adrenal glands are extremely <laughs> uh, uh, activated. So she, she literally goes to sleep every session. Reflexology increases your circulation and it can stimulate over 7,500 nerve endings, which you have in your feet. It increases function, energy, circulation, reactivity, and even metabolism through the body. It can open and clean out neural pathways which are like muscles. 
More oxygen reaches vital organ systems, making them function better. Increases metabolism, energy creation uh, processes. Most people notice a relaxed feeling and a state of calmness through the body and mind from uh, reflexology treatments. Reflexology can benefit people of all ages. I have worked on a two-week-old who was having colic. And after I worked on his feet, of course, they were moving a lot until he started to relax. After he figured out, he didn't know me, but after he figured out that it felt good, then he went to sleep. So I've worked on as early as a two week old to one of my clients was in her 90s. So it does benefit all ages. We cannot, of course, diagnose, treat, or any of that kind of stuff like we hear in YL, <laughs> but um, we can effectuate your entire circulatory system. Um, each reflex connects to a part of your body. So if I'm working on your big toe, on your left side, it will affect your left side your entire left side. If I work on your big toe, uh, your, the toe right next to it, that's your liver toe, and it will affect your liver on, your, on that side of your body, okay? Each side of your body has different organs. So if we work on your left side, most of the time we start with the left side because that's where your heart, most of your heart muscle is. So we really get the circulation going when we start on your left side. Um, I work on a, a woman every week who's in her 70s now, and she always sticks out her right hand. Even though all these years I've been working starting on the left side. So sometimes I just start on the right hand because she doesn't remember to do the left side. But um, we start on the left side to help to jumpstart the circulation. Uric acid is the acid that sticks on the end of your nerves. When you have uric acid in your body, by way of your heartbeat, it distributes it to your nerve endings and it goes to your extremities. That's why uh, it's important to have reflexology and massage because massage works on a different acid it yes uh, massage works on lactic acid reflexology works on uric acid so have you had any of those foot baths has anyone in here had a foot bath okay we've gone with people um, we've watched them take a foot bath after they've had reflexology and what color is the water Yellow. yellow. It's yellow because of the uric acid that we uh, disconnected from the nerve endings. Okay, so we know that this works. We've, we've seen it in action. So when you come to a session, just like you do with a massage session, we ask you to drink lots of water afterward so that you flush the uric acid, literally flush it out of your system. And um, if you don't drink a lot of water, then the uric acid will restick to your joints. So that's why we ask you to drink lots of water after. When you come in for a session, the first thing we'll do is have you take off your socks and shoes or nylons and, and shoes. And we soak your feet in nice warm water with um, um, lemon oil, because lemon oil is an antibacterial, a natural antibacterial. But we found that our, our clients really like the, the smell of the lemon oil. And so it helps the client and it helps us. We put you on a warm bed, especially in these cold winter days. Yeah. And we have a, a, a bedding that heats up underneath your sheet. Now, before COVID, we could give you a blanket, but
But after COVID, post-COVID, you have to bring your own in, <laughs> your own blanket in. Yes, because we can't uh, be accused of spreading COVID through a blanket. Oh and as you know, disease can be spread through a blanket. So we have to do it that way. We try to try to um, give you a quiet atmosphere as much as possible. Um, our offices are, are close to Saginaw Street, so sometimes that's not as quiet as we would like it to be. But we have music going and that kind of thing to give you some noise to distract you from those kinds of things. We also have a diffuser in the office. So if people come in hacking or if they come in with uh, just getting over something, then we diffuse thieves, we diffuse peppermint oil, and whatever's ailing them, we can um, we can customize whatever's in the diffuser based on what's going on in their body. Um, the sessions are 20 to 25 minutes per foot. And they're 10 to 15 minutes per hand. Our offices are open Monday through Friday, typically nine to five, sometimes, no, I, I don't think I even wanna say that. We'll just say typically nine to five, and it's by appointment only. So we very rarely take walk-ins. Um, sometimes people from the other areas, like we have a chiropractor in our office, we have a, a hair salon in the office, and sometimes they'll bring people down to see if we're available to work on them. And so what we do is, is literally make an appointment with them um, so they can come in. And uh, gift certificates are also available. But in terms of reflexology itself, it is a modality that Kay and I have been working with now for over 18 years. And we, we have seen it work. We know it works uh, to help people over pain, to help people with different ailments in their bodies, and to increase their circulation. And I would dare to say, especially with older people, circulation is a major issue. So uh, coming in for reflexology would really help you with that. Um, what's the typical pricing? The typical pricing is for feet, it's $60 unless you're paying with cash, a cash app or a check. Uh, most of our clients are moving away from checks these days and do the cash app type of, of uh, arrangement. And if you're paying with a card, then it's 60. So you get a discount if you pay with a cash app, cash, or check. Okay, you said 60 both times. I'm sorry, 60, and then it's 55 for the cash app, oh, okay. the check. Feet, uh, I'm sorry, hands are $20, uh, $25 if you're paying with a credit card. Is that one hand or two hands? Both. Oh, that's a good pricing offer. $20 per hand. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. How long do you work on the hand? 10 to 15 minutes per hand. Any other questions? We've all been over this at all. Yeah. Because I have a carpal tunnel. We do. Yeah. Carpal tunnel doesn't start in your hand. Carpal tunnel starts in your shoulders. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, the pain is there, so it's through here. That's yeah. where the pain is, but that's yeah. not the root of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually on your shoulders. shoulders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, um, what part of the shoulder? Any of it? Can, Can we, we see the muscle, the right muscle part in here? Can we do that after the recording? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's usually the muscle part. I just kind of heard that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm very okay. You said that the, the diffuser is from 20 to 25 minutes. Is that one foot? Yes. So one foot. foot. So, mm -hmm. oh, 50 minutes for both. It's about an hour and 10 minutes for both. Yeah. Yeah. Is 
the nerve, the nerve endings from the. Go ahead. The arguments that how she finds women spread out on people's body because they can't see. So mm -hmm. that's when you step in character. When you get that zoom all the way up, that's that, 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 that process. The nerve endings are there. And everything is connected. Years later, it was bothering me again and throbbing me. Went back to rehab and the doctor had surgery. So I was okay. Yes. And it gave me a month. And it still hurts after the month. I couldn't have the surgery. Uh, what she did was put me in a harness, put my neck up and back. Traction. Traction. Mm -hmm. Traction. Mm -hmm. And it went in. So it was gone there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Everything's connected. Yeah. Linda, why do you do it? Oh, What's hey, the hey, you want? You hang on just one second. Go ahead. What do you do around Twitch and then the live posts? So we we work on that, that part of your hand and, and foot. So what was the question? The question is, what do you do with an eye twitch and your eye closes? There are parts on your hands and on your feet that we can work on uh, for your eyes. They're usually in the fingers. In the fingers. Well, if it's the eyes, I would start with your hands because it will affect that area a lot faster. Oh, yes. Another question is for myself. I see that the the right side it gets the more colder than the left. Mm -hmm. It's a circulation like, issue. Like my, my hands get cold. Mm -hmm. This could be warmer, but this one is cold and hurts. That's usually a circulation issue. Yeah, that we would work on. How long can a treatment last? How long does it last? Oh, yes. Your feet. 20 to 25 minutes, and for your hands, 10 to 15 minutes per hand. So how often should I come back to get it done regularly? Gotcha. Yep, it's um, once a week for the first four weeks, then every other week for the next two to three months. Charlotte, do you do the reflexology, the first segment, it may last the two weeks or three weeks, maybe the first couple of days or so. But the more you come, the more frequently you come, the longer it can last. Mm -hmm. Now, does insurance pay for that? No, it does not. We've had one case where a woman that had cancer was able to get a prescription from her doctor to get reflexology. That's the only one we've heard of. Linda. Yes. It must be awful rewarding for you to see people feel better. I mean, I can't believe you've been doing this for so long, girl. Right, right. Um, when I left corporate America, I started working in the health field. Um, Cricket was one of the first people I met. So watching that and remembering what my grandmother did, what my mother did when we got sick, <laughs> it all clicked for me. So um, the best modality in my mind is to try to do things as naturally as possible mm -hmm. because the body responds better to it. Mm -hmm. And the other real benefit from reflexology is, is touch. Mm -hmm. Not many people these days touch because mm -hmm. of the laws that are on the books. Mm -hmm. So when we touch people, that's another that's comfort for them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They require licensure for you, don't they, Linda? They do not. They do not? Not in the state of Michigan. Wow. Florida does. Very I think nice. California does, yeah. too, but not Michigan. It, it, it does not. It does not. Just now, um, I was trying to do a massage. Yeah. Years, but, uh, yeah. Last week, other than that. How do we get an appointment with you? <laughs> well, I think you have my phone number. I know, but still, if people are watching the replay, we want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Good.
the uh, my number is 517-896-6239. And K's is 517-862-6239. So you can call either one of us. Any other questions? Do I have any testimonies? I can, okay. I can testify that um, I didn't have any specific conditions, um, but it's definitely relaxing. You definitely have to drink more water and you pee a lot <laughs> after you've been to a reflexology session, but um, it is definitely worth going to. I mean, the relaxation even lasts for several days. So Great. yeah, okay. yeah, it's awesome. Good. It's awesome. Oh, okay. 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 I hear this book that says, you know, your body needs water and you gotta do or your body weight now. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so for me, it's half a gallon. But uh, when, my, when I take the supplements, my son says, can I drink more water because he's taking all those supplements. Now, when you do your work, do you drink even more water than what I'm doing? Yes. Yeah. Oh, we, for we would for that day, yeah. yeah. We yeah. would recommend 8 to 16 more ounces than you normally take after the session. So just for that day. Yes. Okay. Just for that day. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna awesome. we're <laughs> gonna stop the um so there is a chart you can find these charts online of what parts of your body correspond to what parts of your feet, which is helpful, like if you're using essential oils on your feet and that kind of thing. And that's what they use for um for their um, reflexology. So, uh, Jean, you've got sciatic. I noticed right here. Here's sciatic. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, check it out. Thank you, Linda. That was awesome. All You're right, welcome. you guys. Thanks for being alive. Have a great evening. Yep. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>